Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two, game two between Nagmar and Vile Tomato from the Infested Cup. I'm calling it the Dead Infested Cup, and that's what I've labeled this uh, thus far. We already see a command center being lifted off from Nagmar to go capturing those command centers. Vile Tomato starting in the bottom right-hand corner is the Orange Zerg, bottom left-hand corner. We So I'm not even sure what to call these spawns sometimes, to be honest. Immediate drone sneaking out, and Vile Tomato, I think, is going to have a little bit more speed on that. Nagmar moving out his drone as well. He's going to the upper left, might be able to capture that Overlord. Let's see if Vile Tomato sneaks across. Capturing these latent command centers can be absolutely huge. Specifically because the Overlord advantage, the supply advantage, not needing to build additional Overlords. Uh, looks like Nagmar is going to get the advantage here, and that's going to cause Vile Tomato to do a little bit of attacking. That's lifting off. So double command center capture advantage currently to Nagmar. Nagmar. I want to say Nagmar. Just because it feels like there should be an M there. Vile Tomato actually turning around and scouting with this. He has managed to, it looks like, move out. A, was that another drone? Just the Overlords moved out. He's gotten two additional command centers captured. Finding this one underneath, realizing he's not going to be able to grab that. It looks like we do have an additional scout moving out from Nagmar. This command center may be trying to blockade. I don't think that's a full block, though. He's grabbed his gas. That's morphing in. We have a gas morphing on the other side. Nagmar, just a drone ahead. He's getting those three drones in there. And this... Command Center remains uncaptured. In the Overlord race, I think Nagmar might win that. We'll try to keep an eye. So one drone outside of the base here, however. Is there another drone? Yeah, so actually one drone out. This drone for Vile Tomato remaining. Oh, this drone could go up and capture this, but it's going to remain remain out of the fight thus far. Both players creating their initial infested Terran. This one being produced here. The second one being produced at a closer spawn location for Nagnar. So Nagnar, maybe I should just call him Nag. Nag. Well, that just sounds negative. Two things working for Nagnar. First of all, he's got this infested command center that's going to be able to land in enemy territory. There is a scouting drone in that corner. Secondarily, because he's building out of this forward infested command center, he's able to run this one forward. It looks like able to use... Deciding to go for a defensive explosion in this instance. He's got a two-drone lead, so that's going to end up paying out. Second drone, or sorry, second infested Terran now being built here in blockade. And actually, I like the strategy from Nagnar. Basically, get, inf get infested Terrans going ahead and, and blockading that gap, and then maybe produce additional infested Terrans at forward positions to follow things up. Overlord's starting to scoot out. I'm not seeing equivalent strategies from Vile Tomato just yet. It looks like also Nagnar is going to be able to go ahead and capture that additional infested command center to the north. Nagnar continuing to macro up just a little bit, so he is getting advantages there. Vile Tomato going to skip the nearby, so not going to go ahead and go after this infested command center. He's going to see what he can get done at the main. Now let's see if Nagnar, yeah, able to get the defensive explosion. He's moving in. There's no counter defense that I see. Spawning pool about halfway finished, and this could be the difference in the match right here. Vile Tomato going to suffer first blood, trying to attack. An explosion on the hatchery, only taking out a single drone and several other drones scattering for a moment. That's disrupting mining. But yeah, it looks like some drones blockading. I'm not sure that this helps. Actually, I think just leaving that single infested Terran would be is sufficient defense. More overlords are slowly making the way forward. But right now, Nagnar, I kind of like his decision to actually plant these drones here as a defensive option, knowing that he got the early lead. Some more infested Terrans moving up. A bit of a trail. And that's the hatchery. So I, I think I missed one in between there as far as a hit. But no, it was the splash damage. That's what happened. It was an explosion. Vile Tomato was trying to do the counter explosion, but counter exploded his own hatchery. And so that's going to be GG. And I think that is two games. We'll see if there's a third match, but I think this is just best of three. But thus far, uh, Nagnar, I believe. So I think Vile Tomato took game one. Nagnar came, taking game two. So we should go to a third match. I think that's what's happening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. We'll see you, I guess, as the uh, next commentary is up on YouTube down the line. Thanks for listening.